Thank you. Hello, Mayor and Council Members. Uh, thank you for your attention. I am Kev Abizaji, and Dr. Kev Abizaji, an Irvine resident and professor of physics and astronomy here at UC Irvine. Um, I'm here again to deliver the warning that our house is on fire. This is zero hour. Climate change is an existential threat to our environment, our economy, and our lives. You may know I'm an astrophysicist, and from my astronomical perspective, I've learned how limited our planet's size is and our resources are. And our planet's value has become immeasurable. Our atmospheric carbon dioxide levels are higher than they have been for at least 2.6 million years. Back then, average sea levels were about 50 feet higher than they are today, and forests grew as far north as the Arctic. Unchecked climate change from carbon emission will, begin, will bring cast catastrophic changes that affect our community's health as well as our entire planet. I'm one of 15,000 scientists who signed the World Scientist Warning to Humanity, a second update. In that article, we implore that, quote, scientists, media, influers, in, media influencers, and lay citizens must insist that their governments take immediate action as a moral imperative in, to current and future generations of human and other life. With a groundswell of organized grassroots effort, efforts like we see here today, <laughs> Dogged opposition can be overcome and political leaders compelled to do the right thing. The first warning to, to humanity over 25 years ago had one threat that was abated, the ozone hole from, the CF from CFC emissions. UC Irvine discovered that threat. Our campus and the city of Irvine led the way to saving our planet from that existential threat. Irvine was the first American municipality to comprehensively ban CFCs by being a leading example of the assessment of CFC usage and planning its elimination, Irvine paved the way for other municipalities, states, and nations globally. As, as with combating CFCs, many ideas and even full-scale plans will come from our major university, UCI. Our city's climate action plan should be a standalone plan so that there are target dates for actions, measures of the goals, and importantly, enforcement mechanisms to meet those goals. Our community and our planet cannot wait for our general plan update. The city of Irvine has the motivation and the ability to become a truly sustainable community and making a highly effective climate action plan must be part of that. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. 